Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Sunday, February 4, 2024. 23 degrees at 8.30 a.m. and I am your host, Bob Kamal, and I'm a sinner. I am powerless and my life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today and it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There's no reality but God. And the only thing we have to do is die. So how will we live today? And I hope and pray I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. I'm still a sinner and I'm tired but feeling pretty good. I'm here with my three little men, Mackie, Bobby Sullivan, and Michael who's got to take his medicine. His eye is getting better but you can see it's, it's all out of whack there, man. It does not look good. It does not look good, and he was sneezing in the night, but he went out this morning. All these little men did. And so, Matthew wants to go have something to eat. I think Sully also does. And we're going to give Mikey his medicine. Go on, Sully. Go on. Go on. Oh, well, we got him here. We're enjoying a nice fire. Coffee is brewing. It's poppy. There's Mikey's L-Lysine and Maxie's glucosamine and his meloxidil. And I don't know what this stuff is, but that's what Mikey's got to take. And then here's his eye ointment. Hey, Bubby. You going to let me give you your medicine, Bubby? I mean, he's very active and alert and bubbly, so... Yeah, um, I think he's getting better. Last year it took well over a month to cure up what he had, and we're hoping within the next couple of days he's going to have that beat. Because whatever's wrong with his eye, if it doesn't clear up, he will lose it. It's beautiful outside. There's a light, light frosting of snow on all the trees. And uh, anyway, yeah, we're looking for a high of 38 today. And. Oh, we're going to have a total of 58 minutes of day, more daylight today than we did since the solstice. With that, we're going to take a break. Welcome back, and I don't really mean that, and I didn't mean it when I said good morning. So anyway, a recap from yesterday. We, uh, after coffee and wake-up time, we did some stretching and exercises. Not much, maybe for 20 minutes. And hopped in the truck and we hauled our trash. We went to Tractor Supply to get some cat litter. Stopped at Marine Market to say hello. And came home and dropped off the cat litter. And then we went and helped out at the, the Friendship Room. We served about 45 trays. We had venison meatballs and gravy, uh, hot dogs and buns with all the condiments, ketchup, mustard, diced onions, relish. Uh, always have hot sauce out there. There's salads, veggie trays, and some pasta salads. What did we have for dessert? Energy bars and some cake. And what else? I can't remember, but I scored some a great apple pie and some bagels. And that apple pie is probably one of the best I ever ate in my life. Normally I take one of the mini ones when they have one, but it's a full-size pie and I'm going to end up eating it all, I'm not going to lie. The apples are still kind of crisp, you know, they're not just mushy and soft and oh, is it good. I'm probably going to share some with my neighbors. But anyway, uh we came home and regrouped, and there was an event out at Norway Ridge last night where they had lanterns uh, on the trail, and you could go out there and hike around. And I made two circuits on the area that they had marked out. And it was nice, and there was a fire, and somebody there playing a guitar and all that. And I talked to one guy I knew from the trail association, and the one thing that could have used, you know, there was there were a lot of people out there. The whole parking lot was full. Uh, you had to park along the side of Worth Road. But 
there wasn't like an area where it was lit up and you could see who was there. And I mean, I'm sure I knew somebody out there besides the one man I talked to, but, you know, it would have been nice. But, you know, there's no power out there, but that's just something I recommended to the Trail Association. I said, you know, hook up a generator and a place with lights so people can see what the hell's going on and who's out here. Then go over to the fire. But it was nice, and we came home and did a crossword, started on a diagram with crossword, hung out with the loves, read a chapter to them, and ended up watching Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, The Curse and the Black Pearl, and fell asleep watching that. It kind of fits in with the motif of the uh, book we're reading about a guy that goes on a ship that gets taken over by pirates. So with that, we're going to take a break. We're back again into the kitchen. Look at Mikey. Look at Mikey's up top. We're making some cold, thin, watery gruel. What's the matter, Bubby? We gave him his medicine and put some of that stuff in his eye. Yeah. There's the view out the kitchen window. I think what happened as far as getting those trees all frosted up like that was it got foggy and froze. We're going to have a bowl of gruel for breakfast, and uh, cold, thin, and watery, and then we're going to hop on the old fatty and go for a ride. We're going to take some recyclables back. Look at this, Bobby Sullivan. Bobby. We're going to take our recyclables back to the Aplex and maybe go ride the nature trail, because I already know if I don't get out and do a ride right now, I'm not going to go this afternoon. No doubt about that. Look at my key. Oh, I hope you're feeling better, Bobby. Oh, I hope you're feeling better. Yeah, you're a sweet boy. All right, Mackie's out in the living room. We gave him his meloxidil. He didn't seem to want to eat his glucosamines. And Mikey didn't want to eat his L-Lysine. Or did he? Nope, he didn't. Sully so ate one of them. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, looking out the windows... Oh boy, it's pretty out there. It certainly is. It certainly is. So, I think that's all we got. Short and sweet today. Short and sweet. Viewership is down. Thank you for not tuning in. I'm grateful for that. And... Yeah, I think a lot of people are starting to figure out if they're watching this, their lives are even more dull and boring than mine. <laughs> hey, Sullivan. No, I got a good life, and I'm grateful. I choose to have a dull and boring life. Hey, Sully, come on. Come on and see me, honey. We're going to wait for that gruel to cook, and we're going to finish our coffee, probably shoot down a couple shots of espresso, suit up and get on that fatty and go for a ride. Oh, look at Mackie's coming out here now. There's that Mackie. There's that Mackie. Yeah, we're shooting for like a 15 or a 16 mile ride. That'll round us off to about 40 on the week. Strava, uh, the weeks start on Monday and end on Sunday, so. Eh, so it goes. So I guess that's all we got from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, bitter, angry, tired, resentful, twisted, confused, happy, and grateful soul. Piss off, happy Sunday, and thanks for not tuning in.